this is just so powerful. Even last last week when we started the warfare conference with Jason, Pastor Apostle Jason Green, you know, it's just a time we're in a warfare right now. You know, we always been in a warfare, but right now, see, the enemy done turned some things up. And we cannot have Christianity as usual. And, you know, what the Lord is crying out in the spirit, warfare, warfare. There's a war going on. And you know what was so beautiful, what Jason's mom did? He took, she put somebody on the back of her and she said, you're mad at this person right here, but you should be mad at that person. All right. And she said, but this person you that's talking about you or whatever is going on, we want to fight against flesh and blood, but we can't do that anymore, ladies and gentlemen, because it's a principality in high places. See, we're looking at the natural and you know, all of I've been guilty looking at the person, but we got to get past looking at the person and looking at the power behind that person. In Jesus' name. Because, you know, we got to fight against a war. It's a war going on. And that was just so good, uh, Minister Martin. So what God gave me, during this war camp for, uh, conference, the Lord woke me up about 11 o'clock at night. And he had me up from, from 11 to about 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the morning. And he gave me this word specifically for the body of Christ. And, you know, <laughs> wow, thank you, Lord. I'm going to believe you're going to get it in Jesus' name. He said, I want you to take a trip with me and imagine the body of Christ. Amen. I want you to take a trip with me. Imagine the body of Christ and the mindset, the mindset. Keep that word in mind. The mindset. Just like you have a clock on the wall, you go and set the clock. The clock. Set, could you set that clock for 12? So our minds need to be set, set in the spirit realm, body, mind, spirit in the mindset. And you know, like if you know Pastor Jason was doing a campaign because it was called Call to Arms Campaign. And what we're doing as the body of Christ, we're campaigning. Yeah. The devil's campaigning. I don't know if you know that. And he told me to paraphrase it just, you know, uh, as we look at it, as a person running an office, what do they do? They put signs up. They, 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 they advertise. They, 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 they get TV spots, they do radio spots, they have a slogan, yeah. amen, and they, they, they get people's attention and catchy slogans, and that's what the devil does. He goes around getting campaigning. Yeah. Hello? And so just like he was showing me KFC, it says he got a campaign. KFC says his finger looking good. Yeah. And, and, and Subway say eat fresh. Yeah. And when you get to Nike, they just say just do it. Hello, Burger King, have it your way. Hello. And then it says M&M's, they melt in your mouth and not in your hand. So, you know, we need to have a, 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 a slogan too. And then he was saying, Saints of Value, value slogan is this is the place where you discover that you are a saint of value. And, you know, when you think about uh, Prophet Jason's ministry, he was showing me that they are giant slayers. Prophetically, So, you know, as the body of Christ, we should have a slogan. Yeah. They, you understand what I'm, because we're campaigning. Yeah. You see, we're, we're on a campaign here. It's a never-ending campaign. Yeah. Hello? And so, in the spirit, the devil's mind said he come to kill, steal, and destroy. He'll tell somebody, jump off, jump, jump off the cliff. He campaigning. There's a drive going on. It's going to drive off the edge. I was driving down the 91 freeway one time. Venus was in the car. And I said, you know, the devil told me just go and drive off the 91. Anybody? Can I get a witness up in here? <laughs> he campaigning. Amen, amen. And so he was just saying, the mindset. is the battle is in the mind. The battle is in the mind. We're talking about spiritual warfare. The battle is in the mind. The battle is in the mind. He's calling us to campaign. And it can't stop here and it can't stop today. And the target is to call to arm campaign. So we got a target. And then I was like, when I, when I got this word, I went into Venus's room and I told her, I said, oh, the Lord just told me something. It woke me up at one o'clock in the morning, I think it was, and I just started talking. And as I was talking, I was writing at the same time. And so this is what I was talking. He said, you know, for the bullseye. I said, Venus, what is the bullseye? What is the bullseye? She said, healing. I said, no, that's a fruit. She said, bullseye. She said, I said, what is the bullseye? Bullseye, bullseye. She said, the bullseye is deliverance. You know, even right now, what is the bullseye? Anybody? Target. A tar target, yes, okay. But he was saying in the spirit, the bullseye is 
the word. Did you see a bullseye, a target? And so you see the fruits of the target could be whatever it is in the spirit realm. And that's what the devil has as a bullseye. Because see, he's after a bullseye of demonic forces and then the fruits of it manifest. So if you can get your mind set, amen? So he said the word is the bullseye. Jesus is the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was God and it was made flesh. Amen? Oh, this is good right here. And so he had me to turn to Genesis 1 and it said, and God said, let there be. And God said, so what we say, the word, the bullseye, the mindset, and let's set our minds in Genesis 11, 4. It says, if you can go there if you want, set your mind to do, and God said, let us build a city. Go to Genesis 11, verse number 4, amen. As breeze, and God said, go and let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach heaven and let us make a name lest we be scattered aboard, abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Number five, and the Lord came down to see the city. See, they were saying, let's make us a city. Let's go make us a tower and let's go all the way up, right? And God came down and he saw the city and the tower which the children of men were building. They were on one accord. See, that's what the Lord is saying also to us. He wants us to be on one accord now. It's no time for division. It's no time for envy. It's no time for strife. It's time to, you know, be on one accord because there's power. And so those people in that city was building a tower. And they, and they were building it and it was working because they were on one accord. Amen. And the Lord said, number six, and the Lord said, behold, the people is one. And that, and that they have one language. And this is and and this they began to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. So as we get on one accord as a body of Christ, anything we imagine to do and hitting that bullseye will not be restrained. Amen. So it's a war going on. And and then it says God wants us to become one in His Word, like Jesus is one. The mindset, set the mind. Uh, it's a shield of faith. The mindset, just like Jesus. Here you go. It was made flesh, right? The word. There's going to come a time, and it's already happening, if you whether you know it or not, they're changing the Bibles. Do anybody know that in here? They're taking stuff out of the Bible? Guess what? God gave me a revelation in this message that guess who's going to be the Bible? We are. That word made flesh in Vicki Lee. That word made flesh in Pastor Dwayne. That word made flesh in Nawania. It's we got to get, we going to be made flesh. The word. Just like Jesus walked around. The time is at hand. He said, don't have to hit it in your heart. Now you heard that for you. I've heard it for years. You got to hear, hide it in your heart. Hide it in your heart. Hide it in your Well, guess what? It's time that this flesh be made word. And there's no more that we live, but it's the Christ that live within us. This is real. This is tangible. That's why this place ain't full. Because they don't, the devil is, he had a bullseye. And he was planting seed because he already, you know, I, I don't, you know, he's, you know, it's already been spoken in existence. I already shared it once with Pastor Jason and also Venus. A few of us that I shared this message with. So you know, he overheard. He said, "Oh no, I don't want nobody going to that meeting this time." This is unusual. This is unusual today because he said to tell you that you are going to be made flesh and word. But you got to change your mindset. Because those dark. Oh, he did it so good. Ooh, ooh, let me keep going. Okay. Faith is a mindset. Yes, faith is a substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. But it's a faith. The devil got faith. And whatever he said his mind to manifests it in the negative. That's happening every day. So the same thing as Satan being the walking word of God, we got to get our mindset. Because he's impregnating us with the word because it's dissipating. It's leaving the earth. All this laws, we are the word. The living word. The living word. So it can be negative and it can be positive. And with a war going on, just like he was saying, it's a war going on. This war thing, we've been hearing about it for years. 
I have. Amen. Can I? So God wants us to become the word made flesh. And how do you do that? Change your mind. The mindset. So faith cometh by and hearing of the word of God. So you got to set your mindset. So when somebody's doing this or that, you got to set the mindset. What does the word say about that? Same thing like what would Jesus do? Mindset, mindset, mindset. We got to set our mindset. Hallelujah. Sell our minds today with your word. So the devil is shooting arrows into the mindset to change your mind. And if he could change your mind, he got you. Fiery darts quenches out of, this is good, he's sending these fiery darts and out of our belly will flow living water that put out fire because our mind is set so as the darts from darkness is coming the fire of the Holy Ghost and the water of the word will quench it because your mind is set. So it don't matter how people act ugly, showing up. We got to change our mindset. Hallelujah. So water is the word. So all that fire going on, the devil trying to do this and that. But if out of your building shall flow living waters, John 7, 31, he said, He that believeth in me as the scripture have, and out of that belly shall flow. That's a good word. It's going to flow living waters. Mindset, 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 bullseye, bullseye, the word of God, fruits of the word were manifested in a shout, in a dance, in a healing, in a deliverance. Get to the point of the day. Amen. We're going to get to the point. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Anybody getting anything out of this? Yeah. Tell somebody you got some fiery darts, too. You're going to get a battle plan right now. Tell them you got some fiery darts, too. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell somebody you got some fiery darts, too. See, this is it. We got some fiery darts too. Ephesians, what he was sharing about the three arrows. Oh my God. Talking about being on one accord. Let me just read the scripture. Open your Bibles, please. Ephesians 6 and 10. And finally, you can stop right there. Finally, my brother, be strong. In the Lord, in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles, which mean tricks, schemes, manipulation, demonic forces of the devil. For we're not wrestling against what? Flesh and blood. But what against? Principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of what? This world. Against spiritual wickedness and what? High places. Wherefore, take the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. This is the evil day. Yeah. Yeah. This is the evil day right now today. What's the day? April, uh, August the 2nd, 2015. is evil right now. And doing all, having done, stand therefore. Stand therefore, having your what? He said it. The belt, your Lord's about with what? Truth. You can't be walking around with half truths. Hello, anybody. You got to walk around because your mindset is the word. The truth said, I'm healed. Oh, my back hurting and. The, uh, you know, my leg is this and my knee and my. And the doctor said, Truth said, I'm healed. Amen. We can't even allow, I mean, come on. Thank you, doctor, for telling me what the devil's trying to put. And, but we're going to have to actually stand. Amen. Your mouth is powerful. Any two touching degree is going to be coming to pass now. This is the season we're in. we got to have our mind set. So if your mind is already set, I am healed. And they say, oh, you're set. Your mind said, I'm healed. The doctor was telling me something. I said, no, I don't got that. I reviewed that. In fact, I take authority over that in Jesus' name. Yeah. Manifest. <laughs> you know, I'd rather go down saying I'm healed. Yeah. I'm delivered. Because it's a win-win situation, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, yes. you're healed yeah. if you live and you're healed if you die. <laughs> you're healed. So you ain't lying. The truth. It's the truth. You heal, so you got to set your mind. Because now, like, we're at the point where the devil taking the mindset of the saints. Yeah. They just saying 
and it and everything. See, and you are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Amen? So having the truth and having the breastplate of righteousness, have your free shot in the preparation of the gospel of peace. And you know, I was sharing with someone, we had an incident at our house, and I said, you know what? I had to go and deal with this, because yeah, I am a woman of peace and love, but you know, I, you are not gonna manipulate and control me. You're gonna respect me here. You understand, it's one thing being peace, thinking, oh, I'm gonna be peaceful, I ain't gonna say nothing, just go on, close it. No, you're gonna respect me. And we're going to keep the peace because we're going to line up with the right mindset over here. Yeah. And the devil ain't going to take over. You, anyway, hello. You got more power than you think. And then number 16, it says, above all, and I like that. You heard about the bill. You heard about the salvation, all this stuff. But then the scriptures say, above all. Hello? It says, above all, taking the shield of faith where you'll be able to quench every fiery dart of the wicked. And, and above all, shield of faith is your Mindset, just like if you have a mindset. So the shield of faith in the spirit is like a shield. It's a radar. So you got a shield. So when the fiery darts come to you, it's quench. Because you're in a shield. You're in a big bubble. You're in the shield of faith because your mindset. <sighs> Hallelujah. All right. Above all, taking the shield of faith, or will you be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked? Fiery darts. Ephesians 6, 16. What happens in a fight? Think about it. Just if you have a gunfight. You have a gunfight. Everybody look at cowboys. They got their guns, and they said, we're going to go get your guns on you, strap up and one on that end. Then they walk over there, and they both got guns, right? And then when they're ready to draw, they draw. Same thing is going on in the spirit realm. Because the devil, we're in a gunfight too with the enemy. And he's doing these fiery darts. And we got fiery darts too. Look at your neighbor and say, he ain't the only one got no fiery darts. We got fiery darts too. We got fiery darts too. Hold on, Satan. Just like that gunfight. You know, in the cowboy days, you know, if you don't put your gun on, put your gun on. The guy won't put his gun on. It was no fight. So you think God ain't going to equip us with some fiery darts? If he got fiery darts, yeah. we going to come with nothing? Come we got some fiery darts too. And just like the man of God said, there's three types of fiery darts. Yeah. <laughs> we got some darts too. There's a black born out. You can see the first ones. The second one, they dip the tar, like he said. And then you can see the fiery dart. And we're shooting it into his kingdom and into the mindset. Because we're on a campaign. Remember, we're on a campaign. And we're not just campaigning for the Christians, but we're campaigning for the world. And so we're campaigning and we're sending fiery darts just like he's sending fiery darts into the world. Yes. Yes. Hello? Yes. And our fiery darts is of the word of God. And then that third arrow, see, that's the one I like. You don't even know it's coming. But it's just like what he used to do. See what they used to do in the days. Uh, you got your shield of faith. Can you imagine? Listen, did, did you see that video? And you see all of them, boom, 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 all them shield. Can you imagine? We get on one accord and we put the shield down. Bam! At one time, this whole earth is shaking, and we got a shield of faith. He can't get through that if we don't want a car. I mean, he can do all the fiery darts and all the stuff, but we got our shield of faith because our mindset is set. Oh, the shield of faith. Boom, and it covered your whole body. I like the little pizza, but it was a shield that went down in the ground and it went boom. And it was a portable wall of protection. And then they took out their darts and they had a, sh that's like that, that was for short range killing. Yeah. Hello? But they, hello, they cutting off heads and stuff. And then they had them darts and the one, can you imagine all the shield of faith and all of a sudden all these arrows coming up with fire and smoke. All you see is smoke. And all of a sudden it's just boom. Yeah. Yeah. Then the ones, the arrows with the combustions, the ones that can't see. And we all don't want to go, boom, 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 boom. Shield of faith, mindset right. Shooting them darts up there. And then the enemy kept tearing our campaign. I bet you we can campaign and get some saints up in this body of Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Oh. Woo! Give the Lord a praise. So, the shield 
of faith is our mind. We got to get our mind set in the word of God. And say, mind set. And faith coming by hearing of the word of God, we're going to turn off some TV. We're going to have to cut off some relationships. People call themselves their friends, give dumping garbage in your ears. Your ears are not trash cans. I'll let that settle in. So the shield of faith is a mindset. It's like a radar. It's like a sensor. You don't want to sense anybody have an alarm and a sensor. You get in that sensor, the alarm gonna go off. It can't penetrate. We got a sensor, the mindset, the shield of faith. Amen. And it's waterproof. It's airtight, fireproof, vacuum packed to shut down the devil, to stop it. Cause our shield of faith is the mind. Hello. To protect. So faith cometh by hearing above all. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm just here to close out right now that the bullseye is the word. That's the bullseye. So we got to become that word manifested in the flesh. How are we doing with time? That's it. And then also it's time out. I love jerking. Ain't got no power. Don't know no word. And then they dancing. Shouting and go. You know what? What happens? What's what's going on now in the body? Sad to say, many ministries are just giving you sugar shots in the spirit. Get you happy. Oh, you get in the house. You get in the car. Sugar shots, and then you go out there and get healed. Whoop, I mean, whooped in the spirit. I ain't got no power. No, I thought, but you don't feel good. You got to shout. You got to dance. Your sugar. Oh, and then all of a sudden, just like a sugar, you drink, and then you're going to come down. Bam. And that's a trick. And you know, I also, and see what's going on in churches. The devil is sending witches in the church. Just for real. Some people say, oh, that ain't no real. Yeah, it's real witches. And real warlocks. And so all this is real. It's in the Bible. Witches, warlocks, you know. So they sitting in our churches. And they sitting in there specifically to to plant seeds of discord. I was studying one gentleman, I think his name is John Ramirez, his testimony, he was a head warlock. I put it on my Facebook. And he was a head warlock and demon. He started at nine years old and he did it for about 25 years and he was just saying, you know, he would just go into churches and sit there and, you know, they see discord and he started just praying on them and, you know, and that's, and the, you got all this Holy Ghost and you let the devil just take, you know what I'm saying? Cause you're not, you, you want to sugar shoot, you know, sugarcoat stuff. It's time off for that. You know, it, 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 it's just time out. He also was saying, you know, he would be on assignment. He would leave out of his body and go do stuff. And all that's real, too. I don't know if y'all believe it or not, but it's okay. <laughs> you know, you'll catch up with the word. You'll find out later. But leaving their body, doing all this demonic stories, this stuff is real. And he would do that. And he said he would go in certain neighborhoods and regions. He was over in New York, and he was a high-ranking warlock over there. And, and get his story. I'll put it back on my Facebook. And it was talking about now he's saved and stuff. But he would go to certain house and the, the people that was in prayer and intercession like we do it every morning they would chase him away he said I had to run from them but the ones where they had the door open and you were lukewarm and you just you know just barely getting in and y'all told him busted and disgusted so it's time out for that amen 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 amen, amen. give the Lord a praise talk about warfare it's time it's time Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We talked about the three types of, yeah. <sighs> very good, very good, very good. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise. So this is a campaign that we're on forever. <laughs> and, uh, and hello, and while we are there, that's what I'm talking about. And it's time to change our mindset. So faith can be but what? Positive or it can be negative. <laughs> that's it. Choose ye this day who you're going to serve. Give me some music minutes. We're going to have to do our altar call. Amen. So the battle's in the mind. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, I just thank you. I'm going to ask you to come up because we're going to open up the altar. Amen. Amen. And they're going to be, we're going to be dealing with salvation. Just turn the music on. Let it keep repeating. Salvation, you know. You know, everybody in here, you know, I believe is saved. But sometimes people think they save and they really ain't saved. Anybody heard any of them stories? <laughs> They've been in, well, I was in the choir for 50 years, but you know, I went to this retreat, and guess what? I got saved last night. 
Because the spirits, you know, it's real. There's religious spirits that take on Jesus. And they speak in tongues too. They do. Uh -huh. He's a, he's a copy. He's a, he's a uh, uh, imitator, a counterfeit. Yeah, he's a counterfeit. And you know, just you know, and you could tell because somebody right there saying, "Wait a minute, that's what they saying Jesus and they shout and they quoting the word, but just something ain't quite right." Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. So we're going to flow with that. And I'm going to ask them to just, and with repentance. And as we deal with that one, I'm going to turn it over. Say, well, repentance. Yeah, there's some of us sitting up here need to repent for some stuff as saints. And to the iniquities. <laughs> and then healing. We're going to believe God for healing and agreement and signs and wonders. And thanksgiving. <laughs> 